Hello once again, our most valued student. My name is Confident and welcome again to the continuation of this paper where I'm looking at uh, so the, some of these question papers. Uh, I mean some of these questions that were done in the June exam and I did this question and you know that um, for some of you who listen to this video for question number two, I did this but it was uh, in a noisy background and I put it uh, as it was and this was part of the answers uh, here and some said it was not much of a problem so I'm, I'm, I'm just going to just by saving time I'll still come back to this and uh, just recap here but I'll say if you don't mind go to the previous video because I got some feedback some saying it is actually not as bad as listening to this and then but for now just starting with so that I can wrap up this series and sequences let's look at this one now let's look at question number three it says a, a quadratic sequence has the following properties the second difference is 10 the first two terms uh, are equal that is t1 is equal to t2 t1 plus t2 plus t3 is equal to 28 and then says show that the general term of the sequence is that six marks and then is 216 a term in the sequence justify your answer with the initial calculations all right so now it's a quadratic sequence meaning it has got a second difference now if let's say let's say let me just take it apart choose just uh, a simple quadratic uh, a sample let's say i've got five i've got nine and fifteen let's say this was a quadratic sequence i want to match this this would be my t1 my t2 my t3 i'm just giving you as an example if i subtract here five minus nine is four if i subtract here 15 minus 9 is what it's 6 then if i sub look remember what i'm doing i'm saying here um 9 minus 5 and here it's 15 minus 9 and here it's 6 minus 4 which is what which is the 2 so you see how this is mapped out so similarly i can choose the same thing that's what they are saying here it says a quadratic sequence has the following properties the second difference is 10 the first two terms are equal t1 is equal to t2 t1 plus t2 plus t3 is equal to 28 we can actually make uh, this similarly so have that kind of uh, scenario we have got our first term t1 we have our t2 we have our t3 right so like i did here if i say 9 minus 5 remember is t2 minus t1 this one is the t2 minus t1 here it's t2 minus t1 and here it's t3 minus t2 see that so i can have that and say t2 uh, let me maintain here it's t2 minus t1 and then what about here it's t3 minus t2 are you saying that and then it can continue further so that i've got this one as one and this one as one so it will be what it will be t3 minus t2 all right minus t2 minus t1 but there's something interesting here they said t1 is called to t2 so i can make everything like t1 remember equal to t2 so where there is t2 i can make t1 here so where there is t2 i make t1 where there is t2 i make t1 t2 i make t1 i make t1 so i can actually rewrite this it will become like this now t1 t1 and t3 see what's happening now and then from here i can then say this one t1 minus t1 is what it's zero then you continue here as t3 minus t1 which is what i have here t3 minus t1 now when I'm, I'm changing then later i continue growing this to say remember it's t3 minus t1 minus zero i think that is this one minus this one are you, are you with me so that is what we are having so in a way then they mentioned something also they said the second difference is 10 so remember what it is this is the second difference this is the first difference first second and this is the first term this is the first term so even here when i use this one 
I will say this is the second difference this one and this is the first difference this one are you with me and you must remember now when you're talking about a quadratic pattern what do you know remember the first pattern what it's 2a is equal to this pattern and then here 3a plus b is equal to that this is equal to that and the first one is a plus b plus c equal to that remember that part this is just the basic that you need to know now let's look at the final part they're saying the second difference is equal to 10 so this one is simpler second difference is equal to 10 two things are coming out here 2a is equal to 10 and this one t3 minus t1 is equal to 10 that's that's what you're seeing there because why 2a i can come up with an equation actually that says here uh 2a is equal to t3 minus t1 you say that which is equal to 10 that's why these two equations so now i can find my a here divide by 2 divide by 2 what is my a a is equal to 5 that's the first part check it um they say to prove that there it is remember when i'm working i must focus on on this tn is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c so look at it a must be 5 b must be negative 15 c must be 16 that's what i'm just proving here so let's continue so i've got my a being 5 so far so good what about the next one 3a plus b on the 3a plus b i can come here and say 3a plus b it's say equal to 0 you see now 3 my a is 5 plus b equal to 0 take this to the other side we have got b is equal to 3 times 5 15 so b is equal to negative 15 now check there it is minus 15 so it matches what about c c is 16 now there is it our c what does it say we said what a plus b let me use this a plus b plus c is equal to t1 that's where i think things were a bit trickier there is equal to t1 but look i've got a part of t1 it says t3 minus t1 is equal to 10 and they are saying t1 plus t2 plus t3 is equal to 28 so i can come up with those two equations let me do them here they say what t1 plus t2 plus t3 is equal to 28 we will call this um maybe yeah equation one and then the other one that i came up with t3 minus t1 is equal to 10 this one t3 minus t1 is equal to 20 is equal to 10 actually now this can be equation two but guess what remember t1 is equal to t2 so even here i can remove this t2 and say uh, i think uh, i can remove this t2 or without removing you can actually write and say but t1 equal to t2 they told us meaning what you're gonna have you're gonna have t1 plus t1 plus t3 is equal to 28 t1 plus t1 it's 2t1 plus t3 is equal to 28 and then that's equation more like it got equation 3 and then the other one remember it's t3 minus t1 is equal to what uh 10 here this was our equation one from here you can solve it what can you do rule off and separate you see so you're going to say equation 3 minus equation 1 so what do i have 2t1 and then plus t3 the top one minus equation 1 which is minus t3 minus t1 see that is equal to the top is what 28 minus 10 don't forget to put a bracket that's why you see this bracket so what do i have here i have got 2t1 plus t3 minus t3 now minus and minus is plus t1 is equal to 28 minus 10 
which is 18. Now, this cancels off. 2t1 plus uh, t1 is 3t1 is equal to 18. Then you divide by 3, you divide by 3, there is our t1. What is our t1? t1 is equal to uh, 3 divided by 18 is 6. That's our t1. t1 is equal to 6. Then you take that. I think that's what made it a bit tricky. Then you continue here to say a plus b plus c I mean plus c not plus 6. It must be equal to 6. But you know your a. We said our a was um, 5. I think you remember a is 5, b is minus 15. So you're going to say 5 minus 15 plus c is equal to 6. What is 5 minus 15 is minus 10 plus c is equal to 6. Take 10 to the other side. c is equal to 6 plus 10 and c is equal to 16. And that's what we had here. c is equal to what? 16 positive. And then you can say therefore, you can continue now and say therefore tn is equal to 5 n squared minus 15 n plus 16 okay and then the last part what does it say the last part says um, is 216 at 10 in this sequence justify your answer with the necessary calcul calculation so what you do here you are going to say 200 and what 216 so I'm gonna take 216 here and say 216 is equal to 5n squared minus 15n plus 16. That's what it simply means. Take 216 to the other side. I have got 5n squared minus 15n. Look, it's plus 16 minus 216. See, it was positive becoming like this. This becomes 0. It was 0 is equal to so like that so 5 n squared minus 15 n and this is minus 200 is equal to 0 and then we continue divide by 5 I think 5 is common there remember you divide everything by 5 so when you do that it will be n squared 5 into 15 is minus 3 n this into this it will be 40 minus 40 equal to zero then you have to factorize this quadratic equation will work for you here if you are uh, doubting yourself please go for the quadratic equation then if you know how to factorize you can do it so this is n this is n and the factors of 20 here i think i'll go for um five and eight so it is this is five and it is eight here so i've got what I need negative 8, I need positive 5 because I need minus, minus 40. There it is. n plus 5, n minus 8 is equal to what? This, 0. So n plus 5 equal to 0 or n minus 8 equal to 0. With the quadratic equation, it gives you straight away the answer. So what is it? n is equal to minus 5 or n is equal to 8. So n cannot be negative. So n is equal to 8. So the question is, n is equal to 8. The question was, is 216 a term in this sequence? Then you say, uh, where is it? Uh, 216 is the 8th term of this sequence. Say, oh, you can start by saying yes. Yeah, yes. And then the computer say 216 is the end term of the sequence. Guys, this was that. As I said, I wanted to bring this, but um, the guys did uh, give a, a feedback to say it was clear, even though uh, I know there was some background noise. So I will encourage you to go back to this one. Work it out. Check it out. If you still insist, if I can get enough people insisting that I did do it because of the noise that was in the background i can do it guys for you remember this channel has made it you in mind but if you are saying move on to the next questions for now because of time factor i can move on to some of these questions here as you see there is quite a lot 
uh, on the part as you prepare for your paper one. We've come to the end of our lesson. Remember to subscribe, guys. This is your channel with you in mind. If you are not subscribed, you're not giving me some favor or you're not giving me the benefit of that to root out for you. But I will still root out for you. Remember, guys, reaching out is proof of passion. That's what this channel is for. It is passionate for you. So reach out also and share it with others. Thank you.